my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, is there more lines being added? Is it getting longer live? Oh, I think it is. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. No freak. <gasps> Nip plant holders. You are kidding me. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. No freaking way. Hey, my little peacheroonies. Welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are feeling peachy. We are back pretty like sooner than normal with our eco living rags to riches series because we now have the Sims 4 nifty knitting pack. I got this through the game changers program just to be tro totally, totally, totally transparent with you guys because I figured that our eco living rugs to riches was going to be the best place to give this a go because as you know, Ivy very much kind of likes the idea of not working for the man, sticking it to the man, working for herself, selling her own wares and obviously Kenai does that as well. So I kind of thought it would be a pretty fun way to try things out. So getting nitty with it. We now have the yarn basket which will allow us to knit a bunch of stuff. Prepare to rock, plop down in four new rocking chair variants to relax. Now I don't know if you can use the woodworking table to create a rocking chair. I think it'd be really cool if you can. I also really like the elder sims can now reminisce. Sit in their chairs and have a little reminisce. I think that's really cool because elders are kind of forgotten about. Let's face it. Also we can now shop online with Plopsy. This is what I'm really excited about because this is where I want Ivy to sell her wares. Maybe she can sell stuff from Kenai as well because Kenai right now is selling stuff outside the house but as we know he's like putting on a bit of a front with the, the friendliness and the sellingness. It's not really usually his vibe. It's a little bit more introverted than that. So I'm excited to give this pack a go. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below as well. And let's give it a go. Let's do some eco lifestyle rags to riches with a little bit of a nifty knitting sprinkled in there. Weaved in there. Yarned in there. Knitted in there. There. That's what we did. So back to our little lot. Where we left things last time, these guys have kind of got to know each other. We're having a little chit chat. A Rooney. Ivy is obviously pregnant and she is a uh, pretty pregnant right now. She's in trimester. Oh, trimester three in two days time. And she's kind of stressed about, you know, the situation. Who was this person just doing yoga in our house? I don't even know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the yard sale right now because there's too many people here. Too many people here. This is, of course, our little eco living house. It's two shipping containers and um, a chicken hut and a bunch of yoga mats because we started a yoga initiative in our community as well. We've also got Ivy and Kenai. Kenai was feeling very, very playful. These two guys, as you remember, did have a chat last episode and decided that despite the fact that a Babalaru is coming soon, they want to just be friends. So I'm just going to make sure that that's really clear so we don't have any more woo-woo experiences kind of happening in the background. We're gonna go ahead and despite the fact they're having a baby together, obviously they were in a different relationship before. Kenai was in a different relationship so far. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. They've gone ahead and cooled off their romantic relationship for now because they don't want to ruin their friendship when they've got a babbler root on the way. They've also now gotten into an argument about money. I feel like we're getting pretty stressed about the money situation. 802 pounds. Okay, Ivy's been like, look, I'm having a baby. The one thing I really wanted in life is to not be going into work every day, paying my taxes to the man. I mean, you still have to pay taxes even Sit on Plopsy, but like basically, she's just this isn't the life she envisioned. She likes that we're kind of like, you know, we've saved, we've made this house scene on our own and all that. But I think she just didn't like, she's just worried about how we're gonna afford a baby whilst also trying to live out the stream of not working for the man. So Kina is like, okay, 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 I'm gonna see what I can do to help you out. So the first thing I'm gonna go do is check out our new nifty knitting equipment, all of the new stuff from the pack. So let's have a little cheeky nosy. Oh my gosh, it looks really cute already. I think we're gonna need another shipping container. I feel like we're gonna need ourselves another shipping container. Oh, the stuff is cute. The stuff is really, really cute. So is this, where is beginner's yarn basket? Super stash yarn basket and a decorative ball of yarn. Oh my gosh, the stuff is really adorable because look, this is the kind of stuff when I saw it, I was like, that is actually really, really cute. I feel like we sort of need our sort of little crap area. Right now it's all outside and it's underneath this piece of glass, which is, you know, it's all well and good and fine in the summer, but what happens in winter? I kind of want to make this space an inside slash outdoor space. However, that's going to cost us a bunch of money. So I'm kind of feeling like some of this stuff, I'm sorry, Kina, that includes your little punching bag. This means moving some of the stuff outside because I feel like, you know, there's certain crafty bits and bobs that are more outside activities, like our little recycler, which I'm gonna put next to where our bees hang out. Sorry, our bugs hang out. You guys can both hang here. 
it and that's absolutely fine. Juicer I feel like is an indoor activity. Maybe we'll keep woodworking as an indoor activity as well. But I want to put some like little steps down here and have this as like, why don't we class it as an orangery? I think an orangery is a really, really cute idea. So I don't know how this is going to work with the bed and also with the money situation. We might have to try and get a bit of selling done. Also, the other thing this game does not like to do is this. Yeah, I see. I don't want to lose the feel of it feeling like it's outside. Let me just see if this works because sometimes it doesn't let you do this. It's moved to multi household inventory, but it has allowed it. And I can afford one window. <laughs> one window who is all I can actually put in right now. It won't even allow me to put that back because it's like there's insufficient funds to move that back. Okay, so I am feeling like we is going to be needing to get some monies ASAP. And kind of awkward, but I'm going to say sell Billy's yoga mat because I don't feel as though she's gonna be coming around for yoga anymore. Just my thoughts, just my two cents there. And this will all be glossed, but for now, just so that our eyes are not completely like affronted, we'll put this on. Okay, so I wanna make like, oh wow, we got some crazy flashings going on here. Oh wow! I said I wanted to make a knitting room, but instead I made a raven room. Like that is a full on raven room right there. However, we have now run out funds. We need $55 for the beginner's yarn. Can we whip around and do a bit of harvesting? Is there anything we can do? There's got to be something we can do here, right? Perhaps something. Can we sell some honey? You know what? We're going to have to start the yard stall again. We're going to have to start the yard sale again, aren't we? We'll get on that Plopsy network. That is what we are all here for. Okay, I only need to sell a few bits and bobs. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Instantly, we sold something. Okay. I can go ahead and get you your little knitting here. I'm sure you're very, very happy to know. I don't know what is going on with this floor. That is just so weird to me. So weird. I don't want it to be on the same level as everything else. I do want it to be one below, but apparently that is going to be very glitcherific. I don't care. Whatever. Oh, I want to buy all this stuff for her so bad. And we know that Kenai is kind of a spoiler. He's definitely a spoily type of boyfriend, type of friend, really. And I feel like he would definitely want to spoil her quite badly, especially now that she's pregnant and she wants to do this instead of, you know, as a friend as a friend, uh, he'll want to do this for her because he knows how important it is for her to have like, have a child grow up knowing you don't have to just work for the man. However, right now working for the man is exactly what you're going to have to do because you can't afford to do anything else. We've got loads of these flutterberries. We're just going to sell them. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're worth loads. Okay, this is brill. <gasps> these are the rocking chairs. Okay, so you've got this one, this one, one without a cushion, one with a cushion, one with arms and one with a cushion. I want the one with the cushion. She needs a place to do a knitting, right? Right? Like, we have to make this a reality. Oh my gosh, look at it. Okay, it's kind of cute. I wish you could woodwork it, honestly. I still am not quite sure if maybe you can, and I've just, like, missed a trick here. Kind of like this one. Yeah, I think that one's the cutest. So let's get her a little knitting chair. And here you go. Here is where you're going to change your life. This is where it's all going to happen, Ivy. This is where the magic is going to happen. Can I get you the big board thing? Because that was really cool. <gasps> I can't. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a cute area. Okay, that took all of our money, but I don't even care. Oh my gosh, I want this. Ah! I want everything. Okay, Ivy, you can come have a little pregnant wee for yourself. And then let's try out this whole knitting. Don't know how you... Oh, wow. This lady has come straight from a wedding. Straight from a wedding to come and buy your wares. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that Ari? Ari is here as well. Ari, yay. Oh, and my bro is leaving. I have to go now. Try not to miss me too much. See ya. I love the brother so much. Okay, pregnant wee time. And then I do want to at least give this a go. So this object must be in the Sims inventory to begin knitting. Okay, so I actually put it in here. That was not what I was expecting. <gasps> okay, come sit here. Oh, you can come and knit beanies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, we can afford to do them as well. Okay. Which one do I do first? I feel like it's got to be a, a white tiger one because that sounds really, really cool. I feel like the first practice ones before we start selling them are going to be placed firmly on Ivy's head and on Kenai's head. Let's face it. Oh wait, I told you to knit in the chair. Why are you knitting up here? Come knit in your chair. Oh, there is no way to get in that room. <laughs> How am I the way that I am? Wow. I'm such a world class builder. Okay, come get your little nitty butt on this chair right now. Oh my gosh, yes, there she goes, knitting away. Look at the floor. 
I don't know why the floor is doing that, but oh my gosh, she's knitting. It's so dark in here, but I have one dollar in the whole world. And we're kind of getting a bit of an upskirt view here, but she's having herself a knit. And that is just wholesome and lovely. We'll quit our job tomorrow. Like, this is really, really cute. Will it actually progress? Is there more lines being added? Is it getting longer live? <gasps> I think it is. Oh my gosh, no freaking way. No freak. <gasps> it's on pink now. Look, blue, peachy kind of pink, and then peachy. Okay. Okay, everything's peachy to me. But now we're on dark pink. And then we get to green. Oh my gosh, this is a whole freaking vibe. This is exciting. Will it look like garbage if it's her first beanie? I don't even know. Kenai babes, that's not your bed anymore. She's on knitting level two already. You need to come down here. This is your bed now, I'm afraid. Because Ivy's gonna be upstairs with the crib, so. Also, I don't know why we're sending a pregnant lady up and down these steps. Did not think that one through, did I? Also, can I just point out? I know I look really orange today. I got a new powder to use. I got the Charlotte Tilbury powder. This this is number one, fair. And yet somehow I look really orange. I don't know why. Okay, knitting project is complete. <gasps> Tiger white beanie. What does frog knitting project? Unravels knit, destroy. Oh, and refund his money. No, 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 no. Can you put it on your head right now? List on Plopsy. <gasps> we can't afford to list on Plopsy. Add to wardrobe. It's now available for all household members in Create a Sim. Okay, Kenai, I'm gonna put that on your head whilst you sleep and you're gonna be waking up wearing that beanie tomorrow. And what can we knit next? Oh my gosh, we can do socks next. We're gonna knit Kenai a full freaking outfit. This is how we're gonna say thank you for letting us quit our jobs. But Kina's like, look, whatever will happen, I will make it so that you can become a plopsy seller. I will graft. I will work my butt off. Our bills are very low anyway because we're very eco. But he's going to do what he can. And to thank him, she's going to give him a full outfit. Remember when I said that Ivy was going to make Kina fashionable? <laughs> no, she's going to make him woolly. I wonder if I can control Flopsy and uh, Flopsy. Flopsy, which is an Etsy, right? On my phone because I don't have a PC. I'm just saying, we don't have a PC. I'm not even sure if we generate the enough electricity to power a PC. Oh, and it's the first day of summer. Ah! Okay, I need you to go ahead and why don't you cook? Oh, you can't. Oh, wow. We can't afford anything. Leftovers it is. I was going to say, why don't we cook Ivy a lovely breakfast because she's pregnant? But no, that will not be happening. And yeah, look, he's got level 10 and he still can't craft a rocking chair, which is kind of sad. I think it would be kind of cool if you could craft a rocking chair, but oh well. I'm going to fabricate some wall lights for our new little room. And maybe we'll also make a little fabricated desk as well for our little new business that Ivy is wanting to start. Oh, when the pregnancy hormones are in again, she's woken up furious. It's all their fault. They made me this way. Every time she says that, I feel like it's aimed at Kenai because she's like, you made me pregnant. You put this baby in me and now life is really hard. And as much as it takes two to tango, I am not going to argue with a pregnant lady. So yes, Kenai, this is all your fault. How could you? And let's sell all of this stuff so that we can get more cute stuff for Ivy's knitting room. And Ivy is excited. And now she's happy. I can't wait to be a parent. I cannot keep up with your emotions, lady. But why don't you go ahead and knit some socks? We cannot afford that. Okay, please let's hurry up and start selling some stuffs. And at least look, we've got a little desk. This little light as well. Room's slowly starting to come together. It's getting there, okay? I know it's it's hard, okay? It is definitely not the easiest thing right now. I kind of like the OG color of this, to be honest. Oh, that's kind of cute though with the pink. Let's go for that. It's kind of hard to see anything in this room because the floor keeps raving at me. There we go. Look, look. We're getting monies. We're getting some monies. Oh my gosh. Yes. Farming, honestly. Once you get going on farming, farming is so OP. Ivy's found a chair in the trash as well. Perfect. And oh my gosh, her mum is now like, can I join the Yogi Bears Club? We just sold the yoga mat, but sure, join the Yogi Bears. Oh, and a concept that she submitted to the Innovative Solutions Corp was quite impressive. They think so too. The boss agrees and gave you a great review and bonus. Oh my gosh, did we just get like 2k? And we've unlocked a hydrophonic planter for crafting on the fabricator. What? Okay, 2k. We can go home with this room now. Oh, and look, the floor's still gonna glitch. Okay, I don't wanna have to do this, but I think I'm gonna have to put the floor in. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep bugging out and that's gonna drive me absolutely crazy. So, I don't know where Kenai's light has just gone, by the way. Rude. But this is the chair that she found in the trash. I know it's trash. However, it's her trash that she found, so we'll keep her. We got the little juicer looser over here as well. She doesn't see seem as into juicing, but you never know. Sometimes your interests like wane and change over time, don't they? Let's give this uh, room a little light. Wait, maybe Kenai can fabricate a light, actually. Ooh, we can fabricate a floor light, but he can't fabricate like a really top light. Okay, you know what? Let's at least just do a fabricate floor light. And I know she hates me buying stuff because she is a freegan. However, I need to buy all this cute new nifty knitting stuff. 
Oh, and maybe some of these as well. Oh, she's going to hate me because I am going very against the freaking code right now. But it's so worth it because it's going to look so freaking cute. Okay, and we are completely out of cash again. Yay! However, things are looking cuter in there. I wasted all of my money on lights instead of getting nifty knit and stuff. All flooring. So good at this whole prioritizing stuff, right? So good. And I can't get socks. Oh my gosh, Claire, what is wrong with you? Oh, bless her. She's getting some real pregnancy all over the the place. I'm gonna be a terrible parent. My child will hate me. Looky here. You're making candles so you can sell them so you can buy yarn so you can knit socks for your baby daddy. I think that is a sign of a cute parent, okay? Very adorable parent and not all a terrible parent. So please, please, please stop worrying about this. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Pregnant lady. Pregnant lady. You have to buy because you can empathize, okay? Please buy from us. We need the money. Nita, you have to come buy as well. Meanwhile, we got Kenai being an awesome dad by making the world a more green place for his child to grow up in, which you've got to respect that hustle. <gasps> Seb has just died. Sebastian Calorie Aiken has just died. No! My baby Seb has just died. Are you joking me? No! Oh, guys, that's such sad news. I'm so sorry. Little Sebastian, little Sebaruni. I'm very sad about that. And I am going to knit some blue calf socks. And I do feel like she's just finished the socks. I feel like we need to list these ones on Plopsy because we've not listed any of them on Plopsy yet, okay? As much as I'd love to put these on Kenai, I want to at least sell something, you know? Until I sell it, can I put it somewhere? Okay, selling price, no offers yet. Expiration date Friday, no buyers yet. Can I like increase the price of it or anything? Unless from Plopsy, I can also gift it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, all I want to do is knit. All I want to do is knit. But instead, I have to do lame stuff like we and also sleep, which is just very altogether annoying and rude. I don't want to do a sleep. I just want knit, knit, knit. I want to fill that room full of stuff and I just have no money and it's really annoying. <gasps> and we got paid for working from home. Oh man, I really just want to knit. But it's tough when you get paid this much for doing very little. So maybe we kind of do a little bit of both for the meantime, you know? And I think can now take family leave. Okay, all I'm seeing is money for knitting supplies. So we need to immediately put that into the house. I'm kind of going to go a bit wild in here because I feel like it can do it. I feel like it can absorb the wildness and it's not its not too much. It's kind of a wild room. And I need some more knitting equipment. I need some more. Oh my gosh, he's there making me this desk and I could have had a way cooler one. But and now if you're kind of mean saying I could have had a way cooler desk than the trash you gave me. Okay, we've got some knitting desk stuff. And let's have like a little craft seat. Oh, I can put that above his table look. See, that's kind of a whole vibe, right? Pretty sure he made... I thought you made like a little... Yeah, you made yourself a lamp which I thought would go kind of nicely next to your little little woodworking bench with your little lamp at the side. See, that's cute. And yet again, we're on the part where I have to be careful because we're running out of money. And Akina, I know it's summer, but why are you not wearing the hat we got you? Please, can you put the hat on? I'm going to change his hair as well. I'm going to say he's gone for us a chop just because the new hair I got in my last CC video was so good. I actually love it on him so much. So we have to put that on you friendo. Oh, it's this one. Okay, there we go. I mean, that is just really nice. It actually doesn't look like it's been cut that much either. And then we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna just go, at, oh, Okay. It's to support her. I know it's the heat of summer, but he's doing it to show Ivy how great her new hobby is, okay? Can we just respect the hustle? Also, I'm kind of vibing that now we are a knitting queen. We need ourselves a new knitting outfit, so we need a cozy knitting outfit. What do you got for me? Oh my, oh my gosh. Wow. That is, wow. That is just quite a lot to take in right there. There is some more low-key ones. I kind of feel like there's got to be a cute dress, right? Okay, I can kind of... Oh. Oh, you can't wear it until you can craft it. Ah. Okay, maybe we just give her something a bit more low-key for now then. <gasps> okay, this is looking really cute with bump. This is a, a bump appreciative outfit and I love that. <gasps> okay, I really like that color because that top one is like my favorite color. Oh, there's some new, new pants as well. Okay. And they've got little jemmy things on them, I guess. You know what? It should be cozy pregnancy clothes. So this actually makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to give her like this cute little like pregnancy chic sort of outfit. Did they give us any knitted shoes? Oh, Is it messing with the things? It is messing with the things, but then it also somehow works with them. Again, I know it's the heat of summer, but we're going full pregnancy coziness. I, oh, she's feeling confident. I will be the best parent. My child will love me so much. Oh, 
She's in trimester three. I should have guessed by how big bump is. Okay, I'm gonna put cozy pregnancy outfit on her. So much coziness happening right now. And obviously she needs to wee all, oh no. Kenai, toilet's broke. Kenai, come fix it, please. You are the fixer Rooney. And let's get to Knitting right now. Let's get some pastel striped socks. Look at this. This is, oh my gosh. Look at this cozy, but look at her new little room. Okay, you have to imagine that on top, it actually looks like this, which is even cozy. Look, look, look. You've got little plants. Everything just going here and she's just vibing, having herself a little knit. Like, this is just really cute, wholesome scenes right here. Look, just like, oh, yeah, this is cute. This is cute. We're getting ready to give birth. I don't know if she'll do it in this episode or not, but this is just, and I love that the knitting all comes out. This is just really cute. This is just really, really cute. And look at this friend supporting friends with his little hat on his head, just staring at his food. Is King eating it? Okay, King's eating it. Oh, no more knitting. Some Sims have limited amount of patience for the yarn-based arts. It's time to put away the knitting and try again later. Okay, that's fine. Why don't you take your mind off things by doing a bit of selling, okay? Do a bit of gardening. Take your mind off it. And Kenai, babes, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to find you a bit of an odd job. Bit of manual labor if we can. Because you are a strong, a strong baby. And I also realized that we don't see Coda very much. So I'm gonna invite Coda around the house and give him a key as well. Maybe he can, like, recreate cute uncle times that we had with Chase. We can do that with Coda as well. Okay, so little Coda bear is here. Ivy, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and give him a key. Because we do love it when our family pop around. It's real nice. So here we go. We're giving a little key to Coda bear. Oh, Amelia's here as well. The bros can meet. The bros can meet. This is wonderful. Oh, she's also become best friends with her brother. I'm gonna ask, you know, I saw you and Billy chit-chatting. What's going on there? I like Billy. She's pretty pretty cool. I'm kind of tempted just to, you know, nudge things along for those two a little bit because, oh my gosh, she needs to pee so much. Billy sounds like a catch. Okay. I'm interested to know where that's going. And then why don't you guys come and join me inside and you can keep me company whilst I knit my little butt off. Oh, mom's here as well. Oh my gosh. Everyone come in here. Everyone come and sit in here and then you can watch me knit. Okay. <gasps> knit plant holders. You are kidding me. You and a mailbox cozy. I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. No freaking way. <gasps> oh my gosh. Knit. Knit that right now. Great success. We got a little tip as well. We're doing okay. How have we got two grand? Where did that come from? No idea, but I'm excited. Also, we got Nita here as well. Look at this. We're just so family orientated. I can barely handle how family orientated we are. It's just all very cute. Emil will probably be just being like, I'm just not going to question the heart. Just not going to question it. Just not going to question it. And I just want to see this planter so badly. I want to see the completed planter because I low-key think it's going to make me cry. Oh, look at everybody hanging out in my crafting room. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, we've got a little a little crafted bed and a garden friend. I don't even know where we've got a garden friend from, but I love it. I think he and I crafted that bed for future Babalaru when it gets a bit older, which is obviously really, really cute. We don't need it yet. We need knitting stuff. Okay, it's a need. It's not a want, it's a need. Oh my gosh, a roly craft cart, yes. Sorry, Coda, no, it's gonna budge you out the way there. <gasps> a dreamer shelf, oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, it's all so cute. Oh my gosh, this room is making me so happy. It's making me so freaking happy. I could put knitting stuff on top. Little house shelf. Oh my gosh, I can put this here and then maybe we can put something in it. Like, I don't know, a bowl of yarn. More yarn-based stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so crafty. I love how they both craft in completely different ways, but all of their craftiness is now just together in this room. Oh. <gasps> Why is it all making me want to do a big old... Oh my gosh, look at this behind her. Yes. I'm just buying everything. I don't even care. We could also put a little sofa in here. So that like the people sat talking right now could actually sit down. I know it's a bit squeezy. I might have to rearrange this room a little bit. The juicer might have to... Yeah, the juicer. I'm so sorry. You're not even juicing actively right now. So that can go outside. Okay, we've got a whole vibey area as well. Oh my gosh, Kina, you can get everyone to come and sit here together. <gasps> look at this. Them chit-chatting here. And then... Oh, that's that tinkerer lady. Ivy doing a little knit here. I've never seen more of a mood in like all of my life. This is just so cute. Look at the little stuff on the wall. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I wasn't excited about the knitting pack. I was honestly like, eh, I don't know about this pack. And now I'm like, what was I even thinking? This pack is clearly the best thing to ever happen to The Sims. How have I switched to being a knitting addict this quickly? I don't even understand how this has happened. I don't even understand how Kina is just walking around in a tiger heart. And I'm just like, yeah, this is the way that things were always meant to go. Also, look, we finished. Where is it? Oh. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look, just where do I even put it? I don't even know where to put it, but I'm really excited about it. Look at the little planter that she made as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's knitting it in the mailbox right now. This is all just really me making me want to cry. I'm going to list that and plop, see how's this doing. No offers yet, no buyers. It's only Monday. We're fine. She's on knitting level four. She can now, oh my gosh, she can knit a rug. We'll throw this trash out. Or maybe I'll put a rug there. I don't know. I'm really, really overexcited. Usually I'm excited about pregnancy at this point. I, I don't even care if the baby didn't come for a year. I will knit a child and I will probably love it more than any baby that I could birth. <gasps> teal, purple, teal or purple. It's got to be purple. <gasps> and we've made a mailbox. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Throw this trash out. Oh my gosh, look at this. Just look at this mailbox. Just look. Oh my gosh. This is what our house was missing. Look how cute this is. Even the flowers knitted. Is the whole thing just knitted? Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I just want to cry. I love everything so much. You, these losers are aging up, but I don't care about anyone else right now. All I care about is two knitting needles. Look at these two just staring at him being like, I'm kind of low-key afraid of Kim. And Coda's like, dude, yeah, me too. Always have been, even since I was a child. And King's just like, yeah, you know it. You know it. Family bonding. I know they're not all together in a family. It might happen. You guys know I want that ship to sail, but it's not sailing right now. Instead, it's knitting. The, the ship is knitting. We might be able to knit the ship, but right now, I'm just way happier with everything that's going on. This is my favorite room ever. Ever, really. Look, just chit-chatting with my mum while knitting. There's just something so freaking wholesome about that. Look how wholesome this girl is. She's so cute. So cute. I'm gonna give my mum a key as well, because I feel like it'd be useful. Very useful. Because obviously, we will have key nine to help us with the baby, but it's always useful to have your mum when you're having a babble room. Um, and the final bit of cuteness for the day. Actually, there's one more bit of cuteness because we still need to finish the rug. But Kenai is worried about Ivy sleeping on a bed that they found in the trash. So he has crafted her a bed. So I'm going to switch him out to this bed. This bed we're going to sell. And Ivy is going to get a crafted bed so that she's not sleeping on a dumpster bed whilst pregnant. This series is just, it's too cute for words, really. It's all together just too cute for words. Oh, everyone's heading off home at 10 p.m. Thank you, guys. I think we are about to get the rug. I don't think he's felt the baby yet. So I'm going to come in and ask to feel the babalaroo. Let's go ahead and pop this rug on the ground as well. So you've got like your little knitting area rug, which I think is really, really cute. Oh, can I enjoy his little, his little chair rocking as well? I do think that's the first time I've seen him rocking the chair. And yeah, we're keeping things sensible. We're not rushing into anything. We are getting ready for babalaroo. But honestly, babies are hard. Why don't we just knit one? Why don't we just knit one. I feel like that would be such a better idea. We can make it blue or green. Okay, next episode, I think baby is going to be coming. Who would have guessed that a knit... No, no. Attempt a missile crocus. Guys, no. Just because the room's so cute does not mean you have to be... Oh, okay. I did not agree to this. I even asked you to be friends. You had minus romance at the beginning of this episode. Minus romance. Okay, going to sleep is a very good idea. Very good idea. Ivy, why don't you come up into this beautiful new bed that Kina has made for you? Okay, they seem to be going against all of my wishes, but nothing can upset me. Who would have guessed that my favorite pack of any pack that Sims have released would have actually been a knitting pack? Like, why? I love this pack so freaking much. Okay, guys, next episode is baby go, go, go time. I might even try and do that this week because I'm kind of excited to know where that's going to go. Boy or girl, let me know in the comments below what you think it's going to be. Also, let me know some name ideas as well. And can we just talk about how exciting this room is? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in the whole of Sims ever. This is my favorite thing that has ever happened in Sims. And this is my favorite pack ever. I don't even like knitting, but I love this pack so freaking much. However, the fact that they didn't supply bunting is very, very annoying. So guys, let me know what you think. Please, please, please comment boy or girl in the comments below and also some name suggestions as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this very wholesome, very nitty episode of our eco living, uh, eco lifestyle rags to riches with our new knitted mailbox and our new orangery as well. I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.